Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Raven Maureen and today I'm so excited to share with you 15 easy sewing patterns if you're a beginner or if you just have a little bit of time and you want to get something done, these work for you too. But not only am I sharing big five patterns, I'm sharing indie patterns and free ones too. And before we jump into this list, can I just say that I have made every single one of these patterns so I can truly say that they are easy and beginner friendly. So grab a pen and paper, get your list, and let's get into it. So the first one on my list is Simplicity 8613. This is actually a pattern by Norris. So Norris is Mimi's husband and he has his own line of patterns. And this one is one of his easiest ones, I would like to say. I've actually made this for Joe twice. Um, so I've done the crew neck and I've done the v-neck and I love the raglan sleeve. Um, it's something about it that, you know, it's easy to contrast that. And so not only is this great if you want to experiment with colors, but it's great if you don't have that much time. And if I recall, I think I made both of these shirts for him when we were trying to get ready for a vacation. So if you guys know my history with vacation sewing, you know that it's lots to do in very little time. And this is one of those projects that you can get done in like an hour, cutting to sewing and everything. But what also makes this pattern very easy is that there is a sew along tutorial for this pattern. So not only do you have an additional resource, but it is a fairly easy step-by-step -step pattern that has maybe four pieces. It's very easy. Next on my list, and I've talked about this being a tried and true for me, this is McCall's 7757. So I love this pattern. If I am kind of in a sewing rut, I'll whip this out and make the pants or the top or both sometimes. But this is great because it has no closures. It is literally a pair of pants that has elastic in it. So if you're new to sewing and you're not really comfortable with doing closures yet, this pattern works wonderfully because you don't even have to address that fear, <laughs> but it does include elastic. It does include adding a hem and whatnot. And the other good thing is too, is that the top is a uh, cutoff top, like across the shoulders. So you don't have to worry about a neckband or anything like that. And again, this is perfect for vacation sewing as well. So number three is the personal favorite of mine, and I actually have made this top several times over, even though I don't talk about it as much. And this is the Lou Box Top by Sew DIY. This pattern is a few years old, and if you look up the hashtag, I literally think there's like 5,000 variations of this. What I love about this pattern is that say you're not comfortable with knits yet and you're really only comfortable with wovens, you can make this shirt into a woven and then once you start getting more comfortable you can make it into a knit and it comes in a couple of different variations you can do like the curved hem the straight hem and i believe there's like a tunic style but the other reason why this is such a great and easy pattern is that it's literally like two pieces three if you count the pocket but the ease in it makes it so easy to hack so say you're still a beginner, but you kind of want to experiment with hacking and whatnot. You can extend, extend the hemline. I've seen people add buttons to the back, say you want to get more comfortable with buttons. This is the perfect pattern to do that. Um, so, and also this is another pattern where you can get into bias binding as well. And I must say that so DIY, the lady, the pattern designer behind it, she has a dozen of videos and resources on her website that really just kind of helps walk you through this pattern. Um, I love how she recognized that it was an easy pattern, but she made it so that even though it is one of the easiest patterns out there, there's still enough resources for someone who's new to sewing. So 10 out of 10, highly recommend if you've never made a garment or anything, check out this pattern. Number four, another tried and true for me, and that is the Ogden Cami. I've talked on and on about the Ogden Cami and how I've made 20 different versions of it. And there are thousands, I mean, literally thousands of versions of the Ogden Cami. But again, so many resources out there, so much inspiration and True Bias, Kelly, the pattern designer behind True Bias, her directions are excellent. 
The other thing about this pattern is that I have seen this pattern evolve. So when I first started using it, this pattern did not have darts. It didn't have much of a size range, right? But now she has expanded the sizes out and there are other patterns that you can kind of use to get the same look if you wanted to. But all in all, this is a very, very easy pattern. I would say maybe the hardest part of this pattern is the straps, but all you need is a loop turner for that. And this pattern is incredibly hackable. Like looking up the hashtag, and again, the amount of times that I've done it, you will understand, you will see why and how this pattern is easy to hack and again, perfect for beginners. Number five, Simplicity 9757. Now I've made this twice, but say you're not as comfortable with knits, but you really wanna get into a knit pattern, this skirt is literally an elastic piece with a slit on the side. Like you can get it done in an hour. The top, the top is a little bit, just slightly complicated because it's got the cow neck right here. But again, I feel like there's enough resources out there now because a few people have made it besides myself. And also I feel like the instructions are pretty good on this one where there shouldn't be any like true issues with it. But I feel like this is a great pattern to really get your feet wet with knits because it doesn't have to be 100% perfect because there's no closures. Again, this is dealing more with elastic and it's a maxi skirt, which is honestly one of the easiest things you could actually make for when you start sewing. So my next one is McCall's 7948. This is a layered dress. It comes with several different views. I actually made this last year in a black eyelet and I love this dress. Whether you just want an easy pattern or if you are a beginner and you want something that is easy to do, this pattern is really great. Um, I can't remember how long it took me to make this, but it was very self-explanatory. Possibly the hardest part could be the neckline for someone, but this does include, I believe, a facing option. And then if you wanted to, if bias tape is easier for you, I believe you can do that as well. But if you wanna get into doing layers, doing gathers, this is probably the perfect dress pattern for you. Number seven, Simplicity 9636. So this is the Mimi G hoodie. I swear I probably made this hoodie from cut to finish two hours. Um, so you don't have to be perfect at sewing knits when it comes to this pattern. As a matter of fact, you can get sweatshirt fleece, which is honestly one of the easiest stretch knits to work with because it's it's got more weight to it it's heavier it's literally the same material as if you were to buy a sweatshirt so if you have some sweatshirt fleece i believe i had two yards of some and i made this very very quickly and of course with a mimi g pattern you know that there's a tutorial so that just makes it all the much easier but again this is a pattern where you don't have to be perfect with fit because it is a boxier fit and you also don't have to be 100% comfortable with knits. You can probably use a regular foot versus a walking foot to make this because you're dealing with a more stable and heavier knit. So this is one that I've made a couple of times at this point, and this is Simplicity 9018. This has a pair of pants, a turtleneck, a turtleneck dress, and a vest. I love this pattern kit because, and I call it a kit because it has several different views but it's truly a really great building block <clears throat> again if you're just starting to get comfortable with knits um, this is a pattern that you probably want to have because this has loose fitting pants so you can really start to see what that ease is going to be like when you start really getting more comfortable with knits this is also a great turtleneck pattern and you can make it into a dress as well and you can even experiment with the dress make it longer make it shorter add a slit add two slits honestly it's 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 good number nine this is the adrian blouse by friday pattern company i love this blouse i think i've made it at least twice and i've wanted to make it a third time i have a black one somewhere around here and then i have a multicolor one somewhere around here but i love this pattern because it's got these huge balloon sleeves. And if you know anything about Friday Pattern Company, she has really great beginner-friendly instructions. 
and her patterns are not overly complicated so this pattern has a front a back um, some sleeves and then it's got like a little band for the neck so if you haven't had too much luck with doing like a crew neck but you feel more comfortable with a wider band like a boat neck like how this one is you'll feel really comfortable with this pattern not to mention that the opportunity and inspiration for this is boundless the amount of hacks and versions that you'll see online will just blow your mind but also i do know that she has a woven version of this out as well so if you're not as comfortable with knits and you still want to make this pattern but you want to do it in a woven version there is a pattern for that too Number 10 is the Saguaro set, also by Friday Pattern Company. Now, I made this last year and I love this set. This is kind of like the sister to McCall 7757 because the pants are roughly the same concept. These pants have probably a little bit more of an extra step because there is a drawstring and the pant and the waistband are two different pieces. But also if you want a little bit more coverage but and you're not into like that cut off top, you can do the v-neck kimono style sleeves, the dolman sleeves and whatnot. You can do that one and really learn that skill as well or learn that sewing technique. And there are more than enough resources out there. I know that um, Chelsea does have, Chelsea's the pattern designer for Friday Pattern Company. She does have a sew along for this pattern countless people including myself have made this pattern i've actually made a full bust adjustment video on this pattern but i say all that to say that there are more than enough resources to help you along with this pattern and again just like the adrian blouse her instructions are extremely beginner friendly next up is the kara lounge set by swim style patterns so i recently discovered this pattern last year at the end of last year and i love this pattern because it is super loungy meaning you don't have to be perfect with your knit pattern sizing or anything like that and you can use a more stable knit with this i actually used probably like a french terry knit and i felt super comfortable sewing this um, i made this fairly quickly you can make it in shorts or in pants and then the sleeves have that balloon sleeve with the elastic and i actually wear this quite a bit especially with the weather being cooler i've worn the sweatshirt to bed quite a few number of times so this pattern is one of those patterns that's really timely right now but i will say that <clears throat> the instructions are pretty good and it, since it's a fairly newer pattern i don't know how much inspiration is out there but I feel like swim style patterns takes really good photos and they kind of capture like the aesthetic and whatnot of what the pattern is and so you can kind of draw inspiration from that number 12 is the lola tank and lola tank dress by stay stitch patterns this is lindsay and candace's pattern company together i believe this was one of their first patterns that they put out and they have a number of other patterns but again thousands and thousands of pictures of inspiration and also a lot of resources out there for this and if you are not just necessarily a beginner but someone who's low on time but you want something that's really cute and trendy this is the pattern to do because it's layerable so i have definitely i've made the tank top and the dress and i wear the tank top dress a lot with like a chunky sweater or something like that um because it just it just goes well um and this is one of those like staples that you kind of just like keep in your closet so i love this pattern again this is one of those where i may not know what to make but i want to keep my hands busy and so i'll do this i will say this i will say that you probably will need to if you want it to be more fitted you may have to edit your pattern or like edit down your sizing or do some alterations with this one but it is literally the front the back the armband the neckband and again plenty of resources plenty of ways to add in the bands and and whatnot as well number 13 this is the indigo dress by tilly and the buttons so i made this dress years ago and when i made it i was actually testing for them so there was not a lot of indigo dresses out there i am so excited to say that the indigo dress has grown head arms legs and walked off and people have made this dress 
a million times over and this is one of those dresses where it's literally the bodice and the skirt and some sleeves and there are so many ways to hack this there's so many resources tilly and the buttons they are very 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 thorough with their instructions their instructions are not necessarily illustrations they're pictures so if you are a highly visual person that really wants to see the picture and the shadows and the fabric and and the stitching and things like that i highly recommend trying this pattern out um because i i do like that aspect of their instructions um and i will say too that they provide a lot of additional resources and whatnot and this pattern is really a great pairing with their free collar um, that they have. So they have a free collar pattern that has like ruffles on it and whatnot. You can pair these two together to make like a really cute pilgrim dress if you wanted to do that. But again, the, the collar pattern is not only free, but again, a million tutorials. Hi, Nala. Um, there's a few tutorials out there and also just a lot of inspiration. I've made the collar before, especially again, if I want to work with scraps or something, I have made this collar a few times. <clears throat> so number 14 is a free pattern. This is the Monroe Turtleneck by Tasuti Fabrics. I believe this is an Australian company, but again, this is a free pattern. So you literally just go ahead and download it. And it's kind of like a boxy pattern. So again, if you're not as comfortable with your sizing for knits just yet this is something where you can kind of get more comfortable with that so the Monroe turtleneck is a turtleneck it's got um I guess you could say like the dolman sleeve because it doesn't have a set in sleeve so that's the other really good thing about it is that you'll learn like a flat sleeve insert versus actually doing an eased in sleeve so that's what also makes it easy and again the boxiness of it allows you to get more comfortable with knit and the fitting of knit and all that good stuff. So number 15 is also a free pattern. And again, I've made this one too. <laughs> and this is the Citrus Dress by Mood Fabrics. Now I will say that Mood Fabrics is not necessarily known for their stellar instructions. However, this is a turtleneck dress. And I believe this was also a so your view dress at one point so there may be quite a few different videos and resources out there on instagram for this specific dress but again if you have simplicity 9018 and if you've made the monroe turtleneck by tasuti then the citrus dress is honestly the same steps um as the other two so i love the citrus dress because it does have that um button band right there however that button band is not actually functional so you just kind of attach the band and then you sew the buttons on which is honestly great practice if you're scared for buttons because guess what you don't have to put any holes in there you're just literally sewing in the buttons so you actually get a little bit of practice on your button um stitch on your machine and whatnot Okay, you guys, that is it for my countdown. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And let me know in the comments which pattern that you're most likely to try. And also, if you're not following me already, you can follow me at Raven Maureen on Instagram, TikTok, and Threads. I'll see y'all next time. Bye!